That's cilantro. cilantro we got basil, we got all of the uh, all of your herbs ready too. Or no? no, I don't. That's what I was just looking at. I was looking at oregano, sage, basil, and cilantro. What I can do is I can put them off to the side. Yeah. Because um, I want to see what how it looks in this end of May. Okay. And I can dry them and hang them. Okay. It's a great time of the year. It's a crazy time of the year. <laughs> What's in there, Sue? What's in there? And we've got different corns now. Yeah. Got a hybrids. Peaches and cream is supposed to be really good. Well, we'll save all that for next year because we got fun already. There's only so much corn we can grow. Right now, we're looking at growing 80, 80 corn, 80, 80 pole burn, pole burn, burns. Where do I get these words from? I don't know. 80 pole beans. I think you need to go 40 back to squatch, school. Zucchini. You need yeah. to go back to school and learn your English. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. Okay. So I'll organize these and put them away later. Now, okay. I didn't know if we wanted to use, so these are the winter sowing ones that we're doing. These are the ones that are going to be the direct sow. Which in, ones are the winter sowing? Uh, this is all That's gonna, what we're doing today. Yep, we're going to try to out winter sow this. Okay. And then here is for the direct sow. And that we'll do in and last it, week of May or something. Yeah, right after Memorial Day. Yeah, May is. Yes, Memorial Day. That's Memorial Day, yeah. Labor Day is in September, right? Yep. Now I'm messing up. Great. Yeah. You're rubbing off on me. That's right. Do we want to use any of these pots, or you want? Dude, to make you're them? the gardener. I have no idea. I think we'll do the direct. We'll do the winter sowing, and then if they start to get too big, then maybe. we can put them in the smaller yeah. pot. And, and you got to remember, honey, we've got well, yeah, hundreds of those. But you know, the, the well, I know, but we have hundreds. They were of nice them. enough to give them to me, so yeah. yeah. So I figured yeah. I'd. These were gifted to us from uh, uh, our local church here. That Jen went and did a class. Well, she didn't do the class. It was a winter sewing. Uh, the church held the class, and she just it, helped out. Well, yeah, it was actually growing in small places. Is That's what the, the title of it. Actual the class was oh. because that way they have ideas of where you know, especially people that live in apartments and stuff. Yeah. They needed some unique ideas as to how to grow. Yeah, cool. But then they talked about the winter sewing because just like them we're in a small place and i don't have a place to start yeah. seeds yeah did you enjoy it i enjoyed it it was very a lot much of fun. so yeah yeah it was a lot of fun cool beans you're gonna do it again next year um i don't know what they're gonna be doing i know today was the last class for now but they're talking about doing some more and possibly doing repeats and okay like to do them. right on all right well uh well we sounds like we've got a plan now we just gotta go outside and plant them Man, and I got nails. That means I'm gonna get dirt. I guess it's time to trim the nails. Say goodbye to the nails. We'll see you in the fall. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
Uh, we're gonna do very something very similar to that what we did last year. Uh, we use some chicken manure, a little bit of the seed starter, which we will actually be using uh, as we plant the seeds as well. And we'll get into that later. Uh, some of the earthworm castings and then some garden soil. And uh, I was just adding some um, of the local loam that we get as well. This is the same loam that all of our garden beds are made out of. So now that I've mixed everything or gotten everything together, now we're just gonna mix it all up. So before we get started and we're going to show you guys exactly how we do our winter sowing, I wanted to show you real quick uh, <laughs> our rudimentary plan for this year's uh, this year's uh, garden. So um, we basically kind of drew out the garden, and in each garden bed, we just basically wrote what we wanted what we wanted to plant in that bed, with how many, and whether or not uh, we needed to winter sow these seeds. So we, uh, Jen and I both sat down and we went through each of the seeds, figured out which ones needed to be winter sowed and which ones didn't. Uh, what we're gonna be doing today is all of the winter sowing. Uh, so let's get started. Hi everyone. So for my winter sowing, I use old milk jugs. And to get them prepped, which I've already done, to save a little bit of time and videoing, um, Basically, I take the old milk jugs, I rinse them out, save them up over the year, and then um, when it comes time, first thing I'll do is I'll drill four to six holes in the bottom for some drainage. I also drill one on one side and one on the other just in case these uh, bottom ones get clogged up. You still got area for drainage. Uh, then. I personally have to take a marker and draw a straight line because I can't follow a straight line if I don't have one to guide me. So I make it just below the handle. It's about four inches from the bottom, roughly. And I draw a line all the way around, and then you can either, either use a razor blade or scissors or whatever, and you cut it, but you leave a small little spot right here, so that way it's basically a Almost like pac -Man. Yep. Lid stays off because that's where all your water and stuff's going to go in to keep the little greenhouse nice and moist. We're going to moisten our dirt and then we'll start showing you how we plant everything. So I'm going to get some of the good soil that we mixed up and moistened it all. Can't just use just seed starter because they're going to be in this pot for a while. The seed starter wouldn't give them enough nutrients. Five. And I'm going to take a handful of just the seed starting mix, cover up the seeds. Nice little layer on there, give the seeds a little boost. Oh, 
moisten it up. We're gonna have to have some kind of towel. It's all wet now. Basically, we're just gonna duct tape them closed. And we're not gonna open them until probably mid-May to allow it to start getting, uh, we'll open them up in the daytime. Because we won't plant them in the ground till first week of June. It's too cold to do it any other time out here. And then, um, so mid-May we'll start opening them up during the day. So that way that um, the, they start getting hardy with the winds that we have. They'll be used to the temperatures because they'll be outside all the time but that way they get used to the wind. So why do you put the tape on there? Well, the tape is keeping it closed, so oh. that way it's making a mini greenhouse effect. Mm -hmm. Sun's gonna beat down in it, it's got the moisture in it, it's gonna keep the moisture going. You'll find in a little while, a couple hours of sitting out in the sun, it's gonna have dew all inside there. Cool. Um, and then, I'm trying something new this year and I don't remember what I did with it. What are you looking for, your paint pen? Is that oh it? Oh my God, I found the paint pen. You I found it. I brought it over there. All right. I have so much trouble with this thing, it disappears nine out of 10 times. So last year, the reason we're doing a paint pen this year is because of what? So last year, I took permanent marker and wrote on here. And I also, as a backup, went and put um, popsicle sticks inside and with a permanent marker, wrote on the popsicle stick what was inside the jug. So I suspect that what was on the, the tape rubbed off with all the weather but what? the popsicle stick still had the lettering in there right it from the moisture it kind of oh. bled so some of them you can half read but some of them you couldn't so it was kind of like throw it in the ground and see what it is later yeah but the uh outside one faded with the <laughs> sun and everything so we're trying a paint pen this year cool so hopefully this will work so i'm gonna write down what's in there after I lose my tip. Yeah. <laughs> so today is April 15th. So I'm gonna put April 15th for 15 and corn. Lovely writing. Corn over here, just in case. Try a couple spots. Sure. Hopefully, this will work. Cool. Uh, Sam. And so that's it then, right? We're that's done. It. That's it's planted. It's ready to go, and basically it sits outside. Yep. Um, the only time I have to worry about it is if it's really sunny and it dries up in there, and if there's no moisture or it's really light. Then I will add some water either through the hole or I'll get a tray and set a bunch of jugs in there and fill the tray up with water so it can come up through the bottom. And um, once the plants start growing, then I will, um, at night, if it's gonna go below freezing for frost purposes, you'll throw a blanket over the jugs just to make sure that they don't get damaged by frost. And that's only if there's leaves. Showing. Only once there's growth. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just left by itself. Yep. So only when it starts to grow do we need to put the, the tarp on it. Yep. Or cover it up. Yep. Okay. Okay. Kay. Cool. All right. How many more of those do you have? Many, many more.
What you doing, hon? Well, so for part of the garden, uh, for the bigger plants, uh, we're using these water uh, jugs and we're reusing these. And so I'm taking the lids off of them and I am cutting the bottoms off, which by the way, these will make perfect uh, chicken waterers. So we're saving these things for our chickens. And then uh, these guys here, we are gonna plant our plants and then these go on top. We leave the lid off and it acts like a uh, little uh, greenhouse. So we're gonna be doing all of our flowers in that. And uh, yeah, so cool, stay tuned. So we got 33 milk jugs planted. Day before yesterday, we took yesterday off. And they're all doing great. They all have the moisture in them like they should. I'll show you that in a little bit. But Jason just showed you the water jugs that we have the neighbor had given to us. Um, and we're basically gonna do the same thing where we put the water jugs that he cut the bottoms off of. And we're gonna put several pots in the circle and put that right on top. So that way it's still getting the moisture in there, still can get the moisture out. We're going to be putting some onions in here, make it a little easy for transplanting because uh, the onions do have a pretty good length of time before they're full grown and main season is very short. So we have to try that out. So I am going to get started on that. So I had filled the pots with the good potting soil and put a seed or two in each pot, topped it off with some seed starter and what made sure everything was good and moist. And there's the water jugs that Jason had cut the bottoms off of. And I took the lids off and basically We have its own little greenhouse. Now I've never tried it this way. Uh, this is new. We did the milk jugs last year, but not this one. But it has the same kind of concept, so I thought, well, we're gonna try it out and see if it works. So I put a little label on the water jug. I'm gonna turn it around so the labels are at the back. And they are getting as much sun as they can. So right now, we're gonna have all the seeds right here up against the cabin. Easy access to water. Keep an eye on them. Can throw a blanket on them if they start to sprout. We're gonna try this out on a few different things and hope it works. So I did seven more milk jugs. So that is a total of 40 milk jugs so far. So these are my experiments for the year using the empty water jugs and having four pots in each one. So that's four, eight, 12, 16, 24, 28, 36 total. And then I use these little planters, put some holes in them, holes in the bottom, and I've got some flowers in there. Got a lot of marigolds. Got to have marigolds for the garden. And then I also did some velvet sunflowers and tiger eye sunflowers this year. 
have not done any of the mammoth that I did last year. Those things got huge. And they kind of blocked the sun from the uh, garden. But that's all that I got done. 